first look at oxygen os 10 the build name here is covaxin from the oneplus 6 running on the xiaomi poco f1 hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and in this video we're going to have our first look at oxygen os 10 from the oneplus 6 the build name is covaxin running on the xiaomi poco f1 do note this build is an updated version of the navratri build and yes it is based on android 10. for starters the security patch is from november 2020 the kernel they are using is amog 787 kernel so this is how the build comes out of the box you do have oneplus launcher you can access your hidden applications press and hold on the empty area let us go into home settings so here are the different customizations you have for oneplus launcher swipe down to access your quick settings leftmost screen do you want oneplus shelf or do you want the google feed then double tap to lock you can configure the launcher layout quick search gestures are there notification dots icon packs and home screen layout the volume panel is of course on the left hand side and the animations here are pretty smooth then have a look at the recents bam everything is super fast and super smooth you do have the icons at the bottom as well along with the option to clear all then we can of course access our google feed again no jitters no lags everything is super smooth and super fast then let us have a look at the different quick setting tiles which you get so here are the different options which you have for the quick setting tiles tap on edit and these are the different options which you can add in case you want to do that you do have a screen recorder baked in but an important thing to note is that this screen recorder does not let you record internal audio and microphone at the same time other than that we also have zen mode now this here is the new zen mode which does let you create a room so that you can enjoy some peaceful time with your friends as well and it comes with five different theme options and it is something to look into in case you want to have some peaceful time next thing we can do is let us go into settings and then we can go into display but before that if you see the option for nfc in bluetooth and device connection feel free to ignore that because the poco f1 does not have nfc then you do have adaptive brightness and it does work without any issues then you have the option for screen calibration so you can use vivid natural or advanced once you use advanced you can also configure the temperature like how warm or how cold do you want it to be you can configure your srgbs and display p3 as well then you also have the option to hide the notch once you do hide the notch you do have rounded corners available and you also have the option to configure apps which are going to display in full screen night mode is present and as you can see on your screen right now it works without any issues reading mode is also there you have two different options you have chromatic effect and then the other one is your mono effect as you can see on your screen other than that you have video enhancer ambient display is present with lift up display no always on display unfortunately then you can configure the font size display size of course the led on the poco f1 is black and white only so that is what we are going to live with then you can configure the status bar whether you want your battery to be a battery bar battery circle or battery hidden then you have a toggle for battery percentage network speed you can configure the time and you can also configure what all icons you want to see in your status bar other than that you have a toggle for auto rotate screen and screen saver is also present next up we have customization so in customization for wallpapers i do recommend that you use the gallery app to set a wallpaper so that you do not have any issues with the proximity sensor then you have customization for the clock style and you can choose from three different options default analog and minimalism 
then you can configure the accent colors so you have baked in accent colors tap on customization you can also enter the hexadecimal color code in case you want to go into tone you have three different options for the tones so you have colorful light and dark then you have icon shapes for different options round square teardrop and rounded rectangle then you can configure the icon pack third party icon packs are working and you can change the font between noto sans and oneplus slate no pre-baked themes on this build unfortunately next up we have sound and vibration so yes you can go into phone ringtone and vibration and then vibration pattern and intensity and configure the different vibration patterns along with vibration intensity then you also have a toggle to set a ringtone for each sim card other than that if you go into system sounds you can configure the dial pad tones screen locking sounds screenshot sound and touch sounds as well along with the toggle for touch vibration and controlling the vibration intensity system wide unfortunately there is no dolby on this build but you do get the oneplus equalizer which works without any issues next up we have is buttons and gestures so alert slider not going to work on the poco f1 this is a hardware feature going to navigation bar and gestures you can choose between three different styles of gestures so either you can use the three button style or you can use the android 10 gestures or you can use oneplus's own gestures where you can swipe from the bottom to go back and yes once you're using the android 10 full screen gestures you do have a toggle to hide the bottom bar in case you want to do that then you have quick gestures so you have flip to mute three finger screenshot is there along with expanded screenshot raise to answer or switch double tap to wake is present and there it is double tap to wake works double tap to sleep on the lock screen also works without any issues then you can also quick activate the assistant with the power button 0.5 seconds you have a toggle for that long press to take a photo from the viewfinder is not going to work on the poco f1 next option we have is apps and notifications so here for starters you can go into default apps and make sure that the google is set as the default assistant app and then you can go into voice match set it up and once you do that hey google is going to work with the screen turned on and if i turn the screen off and ask hey google are you working bam hey google works with the screen turned off as well Next up in apps and notifications, if you go into notifications and then go into advanced, you have this new feature which they have added called hide silent notifications in the status bar, which will let you have more notifications and the useless and unnecessary notifications will be hidden. Next up we have security. So in security and lock screen, fingerprint works on this build without any issues face unlock is there do note it is going to use the normal camera and not the ir camera and that is how it is going to be on oxygen os ports for the poco f1 next up we have battery so you can view the detailed usage in case you want to you have battery saver which you can of course schedule it based on a percentage in case you want to and turn it off when your device is fully charged then you also have battery optimization for oneplus is specially aggressive app killing and there might be certain applications for which you would want to turn off battery optimization in case you're not getting notifications from those applications then we have utilities so you have dual apps works absolutely fine app locker works without any issues pocket mode is there oneplus switch is there and quick reply in landscape is also present next up we have system so in system you have your accessibility options languages and input backup reset options otg storage and next up let us check for safety net so as you can see on your screen i do have magisk manager installed but my device is not rooted and safety net passes out of the box we can also go into the play store and check if the device is certified or not so here it is play protection certification device is certified all of these things mean that you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues on this build next up let us check widevine so 
DRM info application security level is L1 let me open the prime video application here and try to play a video to see if we have L1 support or not of course I do get this video unavailable error let us play it one more time still getting the error let us give it one more try and it works but as you can see there is no HD text in the timeline which means no wide wine L1 in Amazon Prime HD and by now you should be aware that it is Xiaomi and Poco India to blame for this hot mess. Next up YouTube media playback everything works absolutely fine picture in picture mode works now for picture in picture to work either you need to have YouTube premium or you need to be in a specific country for it to work without having to purchase YouTube premium then we can have a look at the different applications which are baked in with the build so you do have India Nets sound tile application to emulate the oneplus alert slider and of course you will have to give it DND access then we can have a look at the weather application which is baked in so this is how your weather app looks like as you can see right now you have some rain in San Diego so that is the effect which you're going to get with the weather application next up we can talk about the gaming mode which is present so of course you can add any application which you want to the gaming mode and then for notifications you have three different options heads up text only or block similarly you have a toggle to prevent the missed touches and once you open your application which you have added for gaming mode swipe down from the top left or the top right you will get this bar and you can configure your notifications whether you want them blocked heads up or text only then miss touch prevention you have a toggle for that as well you can configure or start your screen recorder and of course you can enable or disable fanatic mode as well and other than that you also have the battery temperature and the battery percentage available there as well in terms of app opening animations here are the app opening animations on your screen right now as you can see no jitters no lags everything is smooth then for the google feed again everything is super fast and super smooth here as well recents bam everything is smooth with respect to the recents also let us try switching between a few applications let me try that one more time so yes there it is switching between the applications works without any issues no jitters and no lags in that respect either so all in all a great build of oxygen os by oof gang for the poco f1 and yes they have fixed offline charging with this build and you can also change the thermals on this build do note we have a separate video showing you how to change the thermals on oxygen os ports for the poco f1 and that video can be found in the description of this video and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.